Hey, good morning guys. This is Stephen Howard. I hope the road noise isn't too much. It's uh, pretty warm today. It's 75 degrees already. I don't know why I'm wearing a sweatshirt other than I was cold this morning. Uh, my dog Rio and Yucca back there sleeping somewhere. Um, I've been dealing with a lot. I've been working pretty full time. You know, some of my moving jobs are three to four hours. Sorry about that. Uh, some of my moving jobs are three to four hours and so they don't pay as much as I'd like we we have been getting tips here and there which is good but um, the price of gas you know it's it's 365 a gallon right now and I've been trying to find cheaper gas and I can't find it and um, so it costs a lot to drive around it costs a lot to uh, perform and do what you need to do and have enough, you know, enough supplies. Um, living my lifestyle is not cheap. I mean, living in your car seems like it'd be the cheapest way to go. Um, but it, it really is not, you know, you have to pay for gas, you have to make sure everything's running right. And then you got to have enough food uh, for you and the dogs. And, you know, just getting by has been a real struggle. Um, I didn't start this I didn't start this channel for donation I didn't start this channel for any other reason that I was struggling with the internal workings of myself and I wanted to work on myself and I wanted to do it in such a way that people could see the progression they could see that I was actually uh, moving forward and uh, taking atonement for the things that I've, I've had done wrong to me and that I've done wrong. And so between those things, um, I think I've pretty much done mission accomplished. You know, I've, I've made it back to climbing. I've made it back to freedom. I've made it back to uh, a lot of things. And it's time for progression. So... In the next couple months, what you're going to see is pretty amazing. Um, I've been working on a film for going on three years now. It's called Breaking the Chain. Uh, it's an adventure sports film, but it also is based on uh, a lot of spiritual guidance and um, showing divine paths, showing people that the divine path is not the easiest Path. I mean, it's if you want the easiest path, it's probably working for the devil. So, um, and then showing people what you know, all of the seven deadly sins, you know, greed, gluttony, all of those things are really uh, are really based out of low vibration. If we can change our inner workings and how we think, then we can change our actions and how we live. So that's a really important thing. And um, that's really, really the goal behind my channel and what I'm doing. However, um, you know, if, if anybody is out there and uh, is deciding that they want to share some bread or break some bread, uh, I definitely could use donations and help. I'm trying to pay a $2,000 fine right now. Um, I'm trying to get my freedom back, get off of probation, and uh, I'm trying to be able to uh, to move forward. So that's that's really the the hard part for me. Uh, as I'm stuck here in Henderson rush hour traffic, it's about 8:30 in the morning. Uh, the divinely guided messages are uh, lately don't don't give up. You know, um, I've said it many times before in many other programs, but. You know, the mine, there was a miner and he was up in Montana and, and he had a mine that he'd been working on for 11 years. So he'd been digging for 11 years and he would find a little bit of gold, you know, enough to keep digging. And he would find enough gold to pay for his, his place to live and, and then he'd keep digging. And he was on the 11th day of the 11th year in the 11th hour and he just threw his, ax, his, uh, threw his uh, pickaxe down on the ground, walked out of the mine and went into town and went to the bar. And he started drinking. 
and he was drinking whiskey and it's like, give me another shot. Give me another shot. And uh, the bartender was like, why are you drinking so much, Earl? He's all, well, I've been mining in that mine for 11 years, 11 days and 11 hours. And I haven't fucking made anything. All I've done is spin my wheels and keep mining. And I haven't made any money. I, I'm going broke and I don't know what I'm doing. So a guy walks up, a businessman, and he goes, oh, you've been mining for 11 years, huh? That's a long time. And uh, he's he, he says, you know, how about I do this? You know, I, I, I hit a mother load on my other mine and uh, I got some extra money. Why don't I give you like, I don't know, two hundred fifty, three hundred thousand dollars $300,000? I don't know why I'm talking in this accent. It may be just showing my acting ability. But, uh, you know, why don't I give you like $250,000 for that mine? He's like, well, sure, let's do it. You got the cash on you? He's like, no, but I can write you a check. You can go right down to the bank tomorrow morning, and you will no longer be a miner. You will have $250,000. You'll be able to start your life over again, move over to Helena or something, and, and do a good thing, you know? Maybe start a church or something. I don't know. So the miner goes, okay, well, I got the deed in my pocket. Go ahead and write that check. And he sells the mine for $250,000. Well, the miner that's a businessman, he doesn't do any mining. He hires a bunch of miners. And he, he has like 10 or 12 miners that go into uh, the mine. And he's like, what I want you to do is he was mining in this direction. But I got an inkling that the gold's over there. So I want you to start a tunnel from the last mine shaft going over to the west. So just find your compass, find the west, and head west. So the mining crew, 12 miners, go down the shaft. They're down the elevator. They get the explosives. They go in and they start blasting to the, to the uh, left, which is west. And in three days... They hit a mother load vein worth $280 million. Now, what is the moral to that story? The miner who gave up should have just turned west. He should have never gave up. He should have started mining in different directions and trying to find the vein because all that little bit of gold that he kept hitting was the edges of the mother load. So don't give up, people. We're only a day or two away. We're only a week away. We're only a month away. We're only a year away. There is, there is something that you have never even imagined that is coming for you. And it's going to change your life, and it's going to change everybody else's life, and it's going to be... Uh, you know, if we were talking tarot, it's it's judgment and hierophant and ten of coins. It's the ultimate life changing mother load experience. And it was all off of something that's in internal, something that's inside of you that no one can see or touch or smell or anything. And it people will think Oh my God, you're an overnight success. Well, they didn't see the four years of hell. They didn't see the stuff you went through. They didn't see the, you know, robbery you stopped, the car accident, the motocross accident. They didn't see all the divine guidance. They didn't see the, the soulmate leave and the, the friends die. And they didn't, they didn't have the connection to the guides. So... If you're like the miner and you just want to give up and throw your pickaxe down and go sell the mine, just remember when somebody hits the mother load, that could have been you. That could have been you. So every day, I'm just going to keep mining in different directions, and I'm going to try and find that vein because I know it exists. I've seen it happen to other people. I've seen it. 
shit, you could go down on the strip, put, put 20 bucks in and hit $395,000. You could hit $2.9 million. You know, it happens every day. We're in Las Vegas. So don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on the hope. It's bound to happen. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you got the point of my story. And, um, you know, I had a couple low vibration videos and I had a couple videos that did not upload because they were erased. Hopefully they will not upload. If you see me in a pink shirt and they do upload, I'm really sorry. It's just low vibration stuff that I was being spiritually attacked. However, this video is to show all the people that are spiritually attacking us that they're, they're going to lose. We're winning. And we're winning by leaps and bounds. We're about to hit the mother load. And when we do, we're going to help so many people. We're, you know, I have way more than 12 miners that i got to help. So there's, there's way more than, than that that I, I'm ready to help. And um, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm um, just getting started here in Las Vegas. And I got a little sidetracked on the freeway, so I'm turning around. I'm going to go walk the dogs at the park, and I got work at 1 o'clock today. So I hope you guys have just a wonderful morning. And uh, if it's your work week, you know, go and, go and mine in a different direction. Go change your, your trajectory. When you're at work, change, change the way you do things. Do things more how they want them done.